Hey, you are back for another video, and today we are going to be going over how to acquire the Mimic Tear Ashes early, and you are going to be doing this right at the start of the game. We first want to locate the Lost Grace, known as Gate Front. Once we have located that, we then want to head to Storm Hill Shack. We are now at the Lost Grace that I just mentioned. We then want to head north from this spot because we are then going to locate a bridge. When you have arrived at the bridge, all you want to do is go around the castle. The reason why we are doing this might seem obvious, yet I will explain it anyways. We are pretty much just avoiding the first and second boss. We then want to head towards this Lost Grace, which is easy to get to. All you have to do is head straight forward and go around. It's a pretty straightforward path. When you have claimed the Lost Grace, we then want to head to this location right there with the red arrow because we are going to then claim a Lost Grace there as well. The quickest way is to go to the right side, hop on those tombstones, and then head down. You will then find this Lost Grace that I just mentioned and we were just right there straight ahead on top of that cliff. We can then head towards another Lost Grace which we will want to claim because we are going to fast travel back to this one. I will be speeding this up, but follow as I do in the video because all you want to do from that Lost Grace is head north because you will then meet up with another one that I just mentioned. Let's claim it and then let's head on to the next step. For this next one, it is quite simple. We are going to need a Glenstone key. And the best way to get one is near a sleeping dragon, and it, it is easy to obtain. I'm not going to lie. It's pretty fast, pretty quick to get to, and I will mark it right there on the map, and you guys should be able to get there without any type of guidance. From there, we can go up to the sleeping dragon. You can try to be quiet. I was just miserable at it. I should have crouched. This key will be directly behind the dragon's tail in the back where a sorcerer can be found. We now have acquired the Academy Glenstone key. So let's then fast travel back to where we just were and that was at the ruins. We could then head forward and take this teleporter right here. When you do teleport, it will take you directly to the Academy. We are going to use the Glenstone key so that we can then go through the first door. I do want to say that if you already have these items or possibly you may have already claimed the Lost Graces that I just mentioned, then simply fast forward. Let's get back into it though. Once you've went through the doors, you will then want to take the right side path. Interact with this logo or this symbol and then we will then go through and end up at Bellum Highway. From this location, we can then take a straightforward path and end up at the lift. It's quite easy from here. I will note that I did not show how to get the medallions. I did not want to make the video too long, and to be quite honest, there's a lot of great channels out there that have made great guides on it. Once you have acquired the medallions, take the lift up, and then you will arrive at Atlas. Follow the white stone path. Instead of following all the way up, I would just recommend taking the left side. As we continue to go on the left side, you will then want to jump up on top of these rocks and then simply go forward. As you continue to go forward, right along the right side path here, you'll see the stone wall. And then on the left, you'll see a plant enemy. And then finally, we will arrive at Perfumer's Grotto. And last but not least, all we want to do is simply head to the four belfries, which is quite easy to locate as well. This is right next to the Glenstone key that we just picked up as well as it's located to several other point of interest. Once you have acquired this key that's at the top of the Belfry Tower, some of you may know the next step because we are going to then use this key to skip straight to Eternal City. Now, how do we do this? You will then want to locate the tower on the right side. You will know that you are at the correct tower when you interact with the message on the right side, and it will state the message right here. Then all we want to do is simply use the teleporter to go to the city. When you have fully loaded through, open up to the map and let's fast travel to Perfumer's Grotto where we just previously were. Pause the game, then leave. Load it back up and then you will arrive at this location right here. What we want to do is go through the first door which is going to be a green mist door. It is not going to be an extremely difficult boss. What you need to do is just unequip any items and then defeat the Mimic. Once you have, we could then take the left side path and go down the narrow way. Once you have reached the ending, there will be a left sided path that you can take, which will then lead you to a grass area. 
You will then want to stick to the left side so this way that you can end up at the lost grace that we are going to claim. We want to claim this so that we have somewhere to fast travel to. So there we go. Let's claim this. And then let's head over to another spot because we need a stone key in order to access the mimic. Now in order to get the stone key, it's quite easy and it's right near us. So let's head north from the Lost Grace that we are at. You may be wondering why I have said stone key instead of stone sword key. It's just for short, so don't get too aggressive out there. The ones that like to correct what I say and then post it in the comment section. Okay, I see you guys. I do. As you are falling around, just dismount, drop down, and then turn around and you will see the stone key at the end of the ledge. From here, we just want to go to Eternal City, drop down on top of the roof, then drop on top of the ledge, then drop onto the next ledge, and then we just want to continue going forward from each structure. As you reach this part right here, go forward onto the broken wall, then from there just go up and then drop down below. There will be an item right here that you can pick up. I already did this. Once you have reached the gray mist doors, open up it by the once you have reached the gray mist doors, open it up by using the stone key. Then from there, rush in front of the enemy and open up the chest as quick as possible. And I mean spam it. Because you will get one shot or two shots, so just you know be as quick as possible. And then right on afterwards, take it to the good old farming spot. I did not include a whole video guide on it in this one because I felt like it would be overbearing, but because you know so many people have made guides on it. But I'll leave a link down below. And there you go. Enjoy the mimic early. See ya.